What's going on guys? Today is Friday, September 13th, 2024. And we have 49 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. <clears throat> right here is a young guy that's sprinting and then he's playing baseball, practicing his swing. It looks like it's uh, some type of tryout, okay? And they're testing his times and testing, you know, how he swings the bat. Every single day, I'm showing a video that I find on Instagram of a young athlete going after their dream. Right now, if you are a parent or, are, or if you are an athlete, that is chasing their dreams. If a parent, you have a kid that's chasing their dreams, you can sign up for our platform right now. Dreamers Vault, DreamerVault.com, okay? Get on the waiting list because when we open, we're only opening to uh, a limited amount of people to test and use the platform, okay? Uh, get on the wait list. Get on the wait list. If you're a parent, if you if you have a cousin, if you're an uncle, you you know, and you know a young person that's an athlete and has a dream to play varsity, to play college, to the long shot of the professional dream, they need a dreamer's vault. Go to dreamervault.com and sign them up. Okay? Get on the wait list now. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy. Trust me. Uh, I have two things to talk about. Last night, man, I seen this young girl player. She's 17 years old, working out at the court that I go to almost every single day. And man, she was a very, very good player. Very, very good player. Here in Colombia, they don't have like the high school circuit, right? Where high schoolers play different high schools and recruits, and they don't have that. Uh, the school that she goes to, I don't even think they have a team. So she plays for a club, and the club is it's not up to par, but she's a good player. So players like this in other countries get lost in the sauce all the time. So I asked her, I said, yo, like, what is your dream? What are you trying to do? She wants to play in college. It is an organization here that I just found out about that facilitates that mostly for young females where they help them get to a juco in the states okay they charge for that service but they've been helping uh volleyball players she's a basketball player and she said she was with this uh agency in order to help her get to college in the states or whatever uh she's still young she's 17 i think she's i think she's maybe two years away she should probably play at 19 juco and then work her way up she's a good player i mean body mass body is a key you know the bone the bones the the, the the body the bone structure body wise she's going to probably get a little bit taller and her skill set is very very good reason i'm talking about this young lady is because prime candidate to be on to, to be on all dreams right and this is gonna go this is gonna be athletes all over the world uh you know i'm from the united states so of course i'm a little bit biased to uh our athletes in the united states using the dreamers vault plus you know uh i think it's going to benefit them as well but outside of the united states it's so many athletes just like her that is going to get a shot because they have their complete journey documented on our platform, whether it's training, highlights, game film, and their sports story, okay? Categorize, and those categorize, but then also by the year of the videos where people can see the progress of this athlete, okay? And then also people can support that athlete. So, man, it was it, it's a joy to watch, and I, I really love watching these athletes go after their dreams and man it's 
young young people in Africa and everywhere in the world and we're going to be going there to seek out these young people and put them on our platform so they can get that opportunity of recruitment uh support ah man it's just so it's so exciting so exciting to know where this is going to go right even on a small scale right you know we're not even talking about oh okay yeah we blow up no we're talking about even on a small scale, we're really going to make impact in this world athletically. And athletically, you make impact in the world outside of that because these athletes become, uh, they become influential in the world. They become citizens of the world that actually make impact in the world, especially being helped by other people and being supported by other people. That's going to make them want to support other people. It's a chain reaction, right? It's a chain reaction. That's what the goal is, okay? Last night, I also caught uh, a live, right? Um, like, so like these passport bro things or whatever. And this is why I tell young people, yo, young people, don't listen to shit, please. Don't listen to dinosaurs, okay? It was a, it was some guys, and they're talking about they're talking about people, these young guys that are chasing YouTube and are overseas, and how they won't have anything like these guys have because they have jobs, right? They have jobs and they won't have anything. But I beg to differ. These, these guys are dinosaurs, okay? It's a new world. It's a new world. I commend any young guy, 20, 19, 18, that goes out and wants to explore the world and create videos. Maybe their YouTube does not blow up. However, that experience is going to get them uh, other opportunities that they'll be able to take that they'll be able to take advantage of if these guys just go back to the united states and they say hey i'm gonna get a job where the fuck is the jobs in the united states like sir like where are these great jobs in the united states it's people that are doing this but for a reason now the the e-begging and all of that stuff that's something that's a completely different thing but to not encourage guys, young guys, to go after whatever they're trying to go after is a travesty. Because one thing that happened with me is this. People would tell me how bad it was going to be for me, right? You're a, you're, yo, you don't behave well. You don't do good in school. You don't do this. You don't do that. Your life is going to be in shambles. You won't ever do anything with your life. Luckily, I'm just not a scared. I'm not a scared man. I'm not a scared guy. I'm going after whatever I'm going after. I don't care what you think. Right? But everything that I've went through... Just say my life is in shambles at 40, at 44 years old. Living in a barrio in Colombia, my life is in shambles. Building a company, I don't have much money. We don't have money in the bank. It's all invested. So my life is in shambles at 44. I have nothing. <laughs> but the, the thing about life is you only have to be right once. Stop telling these young guys that are 18 to 30 that they need to be working some job. They need to be go create something. It's a different world. It's different opportunities. 20 years ago, you didn't have this opportunity. So stop telling people and stop putting your fears on, on these guys. I completely support these guys. I don't care whether a YouTube channel doesn't blow up. These guys probably don't even like, oh, my YouTube channel is going to blow up. The thing that they need to do is focus on creating something and building something, some type of, some type of business or something. 
and not chasing fucking girls. That's the biggest problem. Coming to countries to chase women, that's where they go wrong. But I support these guys 100% that go out and explore the world and make videos and show other young guys back in the United States that are working behind a job and they hate that fucking job and, and they, they, they hate their life. But these other young guys show the world of their lens. If these guys just double down and, 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 and said, man, I'm going to build something because I see the white guys doing it all the time. That's the, that's the key differentiator. Is I see, I'm talking about 18, 22, 23, making way more money than these dinosaurs will ever make. It's nothing cute about saying, hey, I have to go to work in the morning for somebody else. I have to, I have to go to work to build somebody else's dream. It's nothing cute about that shit. Especially in 2024 and beyond. It's so much more opportunity of things that can be done. Okay? Young guys, I support you. Whoever you are, I like I like literally, really, I support. These young guys that are taking a chance, going out, trying to create something. Continue, but stop chasing women. Stop making that your key component. Build something. Make relationships wherever you're going. Because the opportunity is, is endless of what you can possibly do in this world. Have a good day. I'm out.